Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RC Pilots Lounge. This is episode number 31. How are you? People filling up in the room. You guys will have to tell me who's here, how many. Oh, I actually can see the chat. I just can't see how many. Um, that kind of stuff. But what's going on, everybody? Can you hear me okay? Somebody tell me in the chat. All right. There we go. Sounds good. Grossman in the house. Skip Bilt. Dave Kowiski. Uh, MCCSSI. Did I say Skip Bilt? Cool. Thank you, man. Fred. Five out of five, says Fred. Dave Kowiski. Yeah, thank you. Thumbs it up. You know what? I was uh, after the interview with Tom last week, I was all super excited to. Uh, you know, get another one <laughs> uh, put together for for this Saturday, and all of a sudden it was Saturday, and I had I didn't have anything lined up. Hey, fellas, Michael Rajka, yeah, cool man, Grossman. We've been like five away from a hundred, um, a couple of these shows, which is cool. We'll we'll get there. Um, you know what's weird, too? I'm trying something a little bit different. Actually, that reminds me. I want to check something real quick. Because um, this show right now, I have this unlisted. So people who are showing up are only showing up on 100% purpose. And the reason why I'm doing that, it's a bit of an experiment because you guys see that I run ads on the videos, right? Um, and I think anybody would if they could. It's kind of nice if people, you know, whatever. There's, so there's ad revenue, Google pays you. Well, every show, you guys probably don't care, but every show, um, I get hit hard. Like for some reason, something about the live streams, um, and advertisers just know that no one's going to watch like an hour or two of a show and YouTube will promote your videos if you allow them to be public. And so what happens is this one hour or two hour show gets thrown in the pot. No one ever, for the most part, is going to watch the whole thing. So I'm not running them public. Um, they're enlisted. You can get there if you go to the YouTube channel. Anybody who has the link can watch it. It's on two playlists. The more videos from Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike, also the podcast and live streams playlist. So anybody can watch it if they want to, but YouTube's not promoting it, putting it in front of people who don't want to see it, which is actually an okay thing because like, honestly, every week I, I get knocked down like 25% of what the revenue would have been. And then all week long, I earn it back. And then anyway, <laughs> I'm experimenting to see if leaving the unlisted, helps me out. Um, Stuart Perks, first time I got a Facebook notification in ages. I don't usually promote this thing on Facebook, but I did today. Um, yeah, it, you know, you have to follow everywhere because by the time YouTube lets you know, I think, via notifications that the show is live, it, it may have already been halfway through. You don't know where you're at. Show 31, RC Weaven, absolutely right. Barry Gruder, good to see you. Skip Bilt, Bill Shepard, uh, again, Grossman, Jason Rigney in the house. Stuart Perks, did I already say that? I probably did. Skip Bill, Dave Kowiski. Good to have you guys here, man. Um, again, if I think I'm suffering, I might go, I might go public and then unlisted. Uh, let me see. Let me see. There's a lot to talk about, though, even though I don't have a guest, guys. So um, what's what's the news this week? I was looking around on Facebook and um, I really found a question that I wanted to ask everybody in a little bit. But um, I'm going to save it. Let me go. Let me let me get into my my stuff real fast and see about what happens to the numbers really fast when I go um, release this. Actually, it's not going to let me from the app, which is crazy. Hmm. Sorry, guys. 
trying to run this thing. Yeah, it's not there. It's not there. One more try. One more try. I'm afraid to touch anything here. I have a couple windows open and I'll completely lose. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to lose. Um, my windows. If I do that, let's see. It's already saved to a playlist. It's not letting me edit from here. Let's see. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe it will now. Yep, it's going to let me. All right, so somebody give me a count on the numbers real quick. Just hit how many people in the room? 31 last time. Yeah, people tend to fill in later, but I also never start it unlisted. I will go unlisted after the show, but I usually have always had it be public. I think that's it's silly not to. I just made it public. So it it might it might spike. Anyway, 16 refresh your browser, homeboy. Hey, you guys, can you tell I did something a little bit different with the lights? I look like I'm part of the blue man group right now, right? GB Lennon, what's going on? I, I kind of played with the lights because there's always this hard shadow, like because the hat, but it also got a lot darker back here. Um, hey, you guys can tell. Yeah, links are in the description, guys. I've been able to build it out a little bit different. Cruising Stan, Kowiski's dropping links for me. Um, Hey, I got new stickers at the store. The Hanger Rats full size sticker is now available. It's die cut, which means it's not like a, a rectangle. It's all it's the shape of the guy, which is which is really cool. Um, so that's there. And I actually hats will be coming really soon too. I already designed them and sent off everything I need to. So hats should be showing up soon. I'm going to um, obviously want to see what those uh, look like before um, I push it too hard. But I, I, I do have a couple new stickers on there, the Hanger Rats deal. And, and again, the hats are coming soon. Um, Bill Shepard watched our uh, T28 video again. Thanks, man. Or use two lamps, one on either side. Sure. Uh, hats will be sweet. Howdy, Dennis. Grossman, you got a cruise in stand. That's fantastic. He's got those for sale uh, on his website as well as the Hobby Zone and AerosRC.com. It's been a fun um, week. So I started a poll. Let's, let's just jump right in there. Um, I started a poll on Facebook. And if you guys haven't answered, I think you can answer actually more than once. But it's, it's one big list. Let me go there right now. One big list, and this is the post. It's in the RC Pilots Lounge face, uh, excuse me, RC Pilots Lounge Facebook group. If you're not a member, go you know ask to join. I'll let you in, even if you answer the questions wrong. Um, and I want you to go vote. So I put out this poll, and actually you can add your own aircraft to the list if you'd like. Now, a lot of my prop friends, propeller guys, are going to be like disheartened by the way the numbers look. Don't be, because from this list, I'm also going to pick prop planes as well. So the post says, what RC aircraft would you like to see Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike work up next? You all can add options. I may have forgotten. Share this poll. You have to be in the RC Pilots Lounge Facebook group, though, to be able to vote. But right now, E-Flight F-4 Phantom is taking the lead at 43 votes. The HSD F-16 is second at 26. Free Wing F-15 at 10 votes. E-Flight F-16 Thunderbird is at 9 votes. FMS F-18, which I think I got one on the way anyway. And we flew one in Texas, but I want to work one up and do a build for you guys. 8 votes. FMS Tiger Cat, 7 votes. Arrows RC 980 P47, six votes. Flightline 600 millimeter Corsair has uh, six votes. And I've, I'm going to be doing that one, of course. Uh, I got this one in repair status back here. 
Um, Arrows are CP51, six votes. E-Flight Turbo Timber, four votes. E-Flight Pits, four votes. The big monster FMS Extra has three votes currently. Hangar Tour is what Ethan Kramer wants, two votes. The E-Flight Extra 300 3D planes got two votes. And then a comparison video, basically. So comment on that post. Go ahead and vote. It's super fun. I'm going to probably... Um, basically in the poll next Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm going to do um, a couple of those jets and I'm going to also do a couple of those prop planes. So go ahead and vote. Would you? That'll be fun. It's, it's already been a lot of fun. Um, so, so cool. So if you ask to join the group, it'll be after the show before I can get to you. So cool. Facebook poll. I thought that was fantastic and a lot of fun. Last week, um, Dave's RC and check him out. Somebody drop his uh, link in here. Brian Mavpro, what's going on? Um, he dropped $50 in the super chat uh, to buy somebody's shirt. So Shelby Sealback uh, won the shirt last week and I sent that out already. And then I left a message to you, Dave, um, on the Patreon page, um, in reference to, uh, your sticker and shirt request. So check that out. By the way, guys, the homepage has links to get hit me other ways. Um, what's the sub category, Ryan? I'm on the all page. Don't see it. Um, Explain. There's no subcategory. The, the subcategory is within the main list. If you're talking about the Facebook poll, basically the Jets are winning, but I'm still going to, from that, extrapolate the data I need to um, get by whatever prop plane I need to do to um, answer the call, right? So you guys can vote on Jets. You can vote on props because I'm going to do, I'm going to do both. All right. Um, Stuart Perks wants to see more test flights off grass. You buying the landing gear, bro? <laughs> I don't have tarmac either. That's that. It's a tarp, basically. Um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's some stuff I. We'll see. Uh, it's all about time, too. Dave's RC coffee at night. I can't sleep if you have it. Man, I got two sitting here. I'm finishing this one. And, and here's the other one. I might just jump to the full one right now because it's hot. Who's not available? Dave, trying to text somebody, skip built. Your Corsair is not yet fixed. Here's the thing, Victor. When everything you do is on video, it's hard to get it done. I actually did a whole lot of epoxy and gluing this evening on camera for the video I'm working on, which I'm going to show you how I fixed it. So that's why it takes that's why it takes a while. Um, right. I mean, I, I actually, dude, it, it hurt my feelings so bad that I have a brand new Corsair that I can't decide if I'm gonna fly it yet or put it back in the box. But I'm fixing this one. Um, hey, it was 40 degrees yesterday. I went out and flew myself silly. I flew the free wing F22 and uh about four times. And then I flew the L 39. It was kind of like, um, the stuff I wanted to get, uh, out. I hadn't flown the F 22 for a while. I didn't have any cameras going on. Nothing just flew just for me. And I, um, I'm flying the free wing F 22 on the FMS 90 millimeter EDF. So, um, four minutes plus all day long, honestly on five thousands and I was coming down at like three sevens, 3.7. I don't do percentage. Mike, Mike, I'm not sending it to anybody unless they pay. Um, <laughs> Mike is picking up chicks with his stash. Yeah. His wife. Um, Dennis. Yes, I did. And you guys really need to stay tuned for the, the fix it video on this Corsair. And then of course the flight video, but, I've taken the repair video to a whole nother level and uh, I think it's going to be fun. Craig Beaven, you want my F4? <laughs> we'll see what next time I need to raise some funds. I'll, I'll do it. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, restore humanity. Yes, Dennis Farley's asking, um, did I x-ray the wing for internal damage? Absolutely. I actually did. The, I'm telling you, the video for the fixing this plane is going to be ridiculous. Um, I'm showing a couple different ways to fix it. And actually, you know, if you saw the crash, it was hard, but it looks okay, right? But there's a lot that actually happened to that plane. It hit so hard. Like, I mean, I'm you're going to see the firewall getting some attention and some things like that. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. And, and I did x-ray the, the wing root, um, the internal spar, to make sure that it was okay, as well as obviously able to tell that the other spar is okay. So it's going to be really fun check out the repair video and then I can't wait to take it out and um, fly the paint off of it. Um, let's see. Never just fly for fun anymore. Hollywood. Here I come says Papa Boozer. I, if you guys really knew what all the back end of this little operation is, you'd, you'd freak out. Um, yeah, more glue. I'm going to show all the glues I'm using, everything. So so the video for fixing it's really fun, but it's also informational. Um, that crash video reached a lot of people that don't necessarily watch RC, I think, because of the way I titled the video, um, How to Make a Grown Man Cry, RC Airplane Crash. That video went crazy. I think it's at about 14,000 right now, which is nuts for a channel that's been dead for five years. This one right here. You know, I part, we parked this channel five years plus uh, ago. And so, so we've been back and, and it's slow climb, but um, man, that thing's pushing 14 K on the crash. So a lot of new eyeballs on RC and a couple guys asked questions about how to fix it. And um, I mean, I've showed how to do that before, mostly just how to use like some of the products to fix a plane, but I've never really kind of gone over my, methods. So there's, there's actually a lot to it and I'm going to show as much as I can. It's again, to give you guys the best value possible um, and, and bring you along the, in the process with me and see what I do. And, and that's again, why it's not fixed already is because I want to videotape, videotape, <laughs> no one's using tape, but I want to video everything. So that's what's up. Yeah, Dave, thanks. Pushing 14. Yep, that's cool. Bob the Good, good to see you. I hope you got my answer. I answered your question, uh, I think it was you, on YouTube today about the EDF. Um, since the crash, the um, F4 video I put up, the Freewing F4 with the JP Hobby 6S power system went up. And uh, that video is super fun. Andy has those JP uh, power systems in stock right now. And he's got more RC Jetwork 6S, 6,000s, and uh, some 4,000s coming in stock pretty soon. And, uh, man, it's flying season. I'm going to grab me some. Yeah, the J thank you, Mike. Mike, the JP F4 uh, absolutely rocks. And I can't wait to take it out when it's not below freezing and really ring it out some more, but it really sounded turbine-esque, if you ask me. I thought it was amazing, and uh, I can't wait to fly it some more, and the flight time seemed right on par with the extended times I'm used to getting now out of the free wing systems, or the FMS systems, which um, I like. Jeff's Custom RC, has got a brand new YouTube channel. He's rocking it. Um, you're very welcome. Check him out, Jeff's Custom RC. Um, Somebody may drop a link for you. If not, I will uh, definitely make you give you a blue wrench. Grossman asked me, have I tried any of these methods of straightening foam, like the hot water method or things like that? Um, I have done the hot water method, um, and it, it does work to a degree. You, you have to be prepared, though, that the cells will become very individualized, um, like the gator that everybody talks about, like if it's sat in the sun because you're expanding everything and uh but but if you're fixing something that's that bad you know you're going to be uh filling and sanding and painting and stuff anyway 
Fred got a nice never flown free wing T45 at a good price. Even got RC Geeks LED afterburner thrown in. That's fantastic. Um, Dave Kowiski, thanks for dropping the uh, Jeff's Custom RC link to the YouTube channel. Um, check that out, guys, if, and support your guys who have new channels. That's It's fun. Victor wants to try the 12 SJP EDF. I think that would be sick. And I think the F-22 is a great platform to carry all that extra. Um, Hal Rufner, you know what? Go check them out. They got high C ratings, very good prices. Um, RC Jetworks, I'm sure the link is in the description. If not, it's going to be in the chat. But guys are liking them a lot. Uh, let's see. What was I getting at? Oh, Speaking of T-45s, I got my Mary Boozer T-45 back here. Um, I did also shoot video on the install of the FMS 90 millimeter fan. I put in it, and I also made the tail hook legit. It's hard to see because I haven't painted it up, but it works. It's metal. <laughs> There actually a whole lot of engineering went into making that tail hook because I also, it, you guys who have the plane know there's these thin little plastic bits that just hold the dummy tail hook, right? There's a hole through it. And then it just like the, the original tail hook just kind of um, nubs in. Well, that's not going to work if you have a tail hook that you want to not only function like operate like up and down but i wanted to catch a wire and be strong enough so i put doublers in between those plastic bits I, there's a lot of metal hardware back there but also keeping it as light as i can um some jb weld a lot of sanding and filling i use three different pieces to work out the tail hook and then sand it and fill it and get it shaped right you'll see um and then I'm not relying fully on those plastic plates that hold the tail hook, but I've also got it lashed through the pin, which allows it to still rotate without impeding that. And then it's, and it's hidden along the ventral through the seam of the wing under the plastic plate and then, and then lashed to that carbon fiber spar that you can see in the louver vent. I filmed it all. So it's another thing that's going to be an editing nightmare, but I'll, I'll put it out of it. I mean, it's just me for the most part. Mike is so busy. I love him. He couldn't be here tonight. Um, he's good when it's time to go out there and film and stuff, but like everything else in house is, is done by this guy right here. So uh, it takes me a minute to get things out, but Mary Boozer, the T45 looks amazing. We're going to have a good time filming what I've got planned for that. So I cannot wait to fly the T45 again. Um, and it'll be kind of nice getting that extra time out of the FMS 90. So wings 88, what's happening? Um, it's, it's back to the tail hook on the T45. I, I just missed a lot of comments, but I am going to answer uh, wings 88 right now. Um, there's going to be a servo up in the fuselage that works the release mechanism. That's going to, let the tail hook come down but what's going to hold the tail hook where i need it is tension from springs on either side um and it's going to be really easy to reset some of you guys i'm sure are familiar with steve hodges rc jet dude he did a it's a little bit reminiscent of the way he has the release on the um f4 parachute deal right where there's kind of like a rod through a tube that mine's way less fancy way less fancy um basically the tail hook has an extra bolt going through you guys will see this that's gonna be and and then a rod through conduit that just kind of is gonna hold it the pin is here the tail hook lays across it this way my left to right the pin is going straight at you the rod is coming up from the fuselage and and holds it here and then the servo pulls it back and then it's just going to drop and the springs are going to hold it really lo-fi because i can't i don't want the servo to take the brunt of the abuse that i plan on giving the tail hook 
How about that? <laughs> um, by the way, yes, the flex jet is awesome. I have flown that. Um, RC Jetworks has taken pre-orders, I believe, right now on the thrust vector version of the flex jet. Um, Wesley's going to do an unboxing on the flex jet tomorrow. I think the 6S version, which is totally fine by me, by the way. Thank you, Skip. Sea Viper Patrick RC, have I ever flown the F-14? I have not, but I will be getting one this summer. I'm actually super excited about it. And my buddy, Jason Rigney, Edge Runner, he's got a really long handle on YouTube here. But Jason Rigney, he's all over Facebook, guys. Good guy. Um, he's pumped up and he's been working on an F-14. So we've been talking about one like a lot back and forth. So uh, actually super excited to get my hands on the F-14 and get it programmed out and figure out who um, I really want to follow on that one. RC Geek is, is taking the lead right now. And RC Informer has been working one up too. So I'm sure there's some information to glean from him, although he's been checking out RC Geek as well. Man, that is insane. Bet the hook is awesome. Mitchell Farley says he can print pieces for me. Yeah, man, that's cool. Um, Thank you so much for that, Mitchell. Yeah, George Dahl is answering somebody. Um, yeah, th that's the way these platforms work. The, the, the discussion is somebody's watching on Facebook, click the link, but isn't able to comment. It's because Facebook doesn't want you to leave their platform. So if you click a link to get elsewhere from Facebook, they want it to be a nuisance. You have to go in through YouTube and, and go to the Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike YouTube channel and get here um, because then you're already signed in and you can engage. That's what it's all about. So many of you have um, channels and you put out content and so many of you don't at all, but you have a, a YouTube account or a Gmail account, which allows you to be able to participate, which is great. What would you like to see as a new release next, Ryan? That's a great question, Stuart. Thank you so much. Um, can't wait on an F-14. Um, I'm really kind of pumped about the – every time I see those HSD posts on Facebook, I'm getting pumped. And I'll be getting those – I'll be getting my HSD stuff uh, from RC Jetworks. Uh, what would I like to see next? Man, that's a great question, and I'm so darn busy trying to keep up with the stuff I have. I, I really don't know. Right now, I'm super pumped about that new F4, to be honest with you. And then, um, you know, I want to – I'm kind of excited to see what you guys say about the prop jobs. Um, a little bit of me wants to really kind of ring out that turbo timber, and I really – I feel like the Aeros RC P51 and P47 are no brainers. We, you know, the community here got first dibs on launching that product and we sold out the Bearcat and the Trojan. So let's do it again, right? Let's do it with some other stuff. This community is not me, it's you guys. We, we, I feel like we have the, the Midas touch over here. Um, yeah, Grossman, that battery tray mod is pretty good. I, I can't wait to see for myself. I, I feel like that plane has been – definitely deserves the respect it's getting in the way of complicatedness, if that's a word. If it's not, I'm going to make it up and own it right now. But um, I wonder how complicated it really is. That's what I want to know. Everybody wants an OV-10. You know what? I can't wait to fly one because I don't think they're good looking, but it could fly amazing and that would be really nice. Dave's RC, finally, your ears must have been on fire. We've been talking about you, man. George Dahl wants to know, have I flown a Dynam ME262 with a free wing fan set up? Modified mine, but haven't flown it yet. So wondering if maybe you had. What can I expect if you have? Let me ask you, George Dahl, have you flown it at all? Period, regardless of the free wing stuff? That's my question. 
something about the incidence on that uh, Dynam one makes it want to leap off really quick. It actually flies really good, but just be ready for it to come off before you're ready. Seems like everybody's comes off too quick. Um, Brian K. Mav Pro, yeah, neither is an A-10, but it's a cool plane. I'm sure we're, that's in response to the uh, um, OV-10 comment. Grossman says he can't wait for me to do a build video on the F-14. The one I'm getting is already put together, so I'm probably not going to do one. Um, I may put different EDFs in it. I think the one I'm getting has some um, upgraded stuff in it already, so I'm liable to roll with that. We'll see, man. I, I don't really know. It, it's a used deal from my from my buddy Andy. Better late than never, Boozer. Yeah, I was talking about you, Boozer. Boozer's show is going down at um, 4 or 8 tomorrow. What are you doing? Are you back on the 4 o'clock deal? And Mary Boozer is going to unbox, it looks like, the uh, FlexJet 6L version. You don't need to apologize, Mary Boozer, and you can always catch it on the replay. What's up? So I've got a list of things here. Um, here's one. I've been perusing uh, Facebook trying to come up with uh, just – Catch the news, kind of, you know, stupidest thing in RC this week, um, things like that. Um, Dave Archer put a big screen in the shop to watch and work on planes. That's awesome. How many of you guys, um, you, you may not be able to answer it right now because you're here, obviously, but I wonder how many guys um, – check this show out and just listen like a podcast. There really isn't much to look at unless there's an interview going on. Um, can't wait for the HSD T33 turbine says Jack Miller. Yeah, that's going to be sick. Um, I'm really excited about some of that big stuff and, and going to events. I want to have some other things to fly. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think hippies here, Grossman, not right now. Not right now. Um, everybody, thanks for supporting each other. That's really cool. You guys are talking about planes that people would like to see next, like a big P-47. It'd be nice to see some big Carbon Z stuff. Um, the Freewing 262 version 2 is sweet. Mostly version 2 is the paint scheme. And did they change? I, did, I do think they changed the EDFs, didn't they? They're like nine bladers maybe, or are they 12? I can't recall. I've flown them both. Um, they're fantastic. I'm so stuck on the FMS fans right now, though. Like, that's what I want in everything. Um, just, I mean, it's sick. I mean, I was going mixed throttle, which was really, truly mixed throttle on my F-22 yesterday. And, I mean, really, over four minutes and, and being okay is ridiculous. Totally cool. Um, buzz cut 2239, Fred Baron RC 12, wings 88, 12, nine for, oh, 12 blades. Thank you. In their seventies. Yeah. Yeah. In that, in that one. Yeah, man, I'm all over the HSD 105 millimeter F16. I think you guys would like to see us do it too. It, it's leading the poll on the RC pilot sounds Facebook group. Spruce Goose says RC Weaving. Is that what you're going to turn your uh, <laughs> your C130 into? That'd be funny. I can't wait to show you guys uh, some of the stuff we've been working on. There's actually a lot to do right now. Um, but we're finally getting weather. It's supposed to be nice. It was nice yesterday. I'm so excited to get out there and fly. If you guys aren't on Instagram, it's a good time. If you think the things you do on Facebook get lost in the shuffle too quick, um, they do. I mean, I like it. It's okay. I go there because that's where you guys are. But, man, Instagram is a really nice place for consuming just, you know, the visual parts, which is, you know, pictures and video. Dave's RC would like to see a Super Saber. Um, I was, again, I was just talking about you. Check your messages on Patreon because I wrote you back. 
Um, we took care of Shelby already. His shirt's been sent out. Um, I got me some uh, new hanger rat shirts too on the way. And the stickers are there now too, like the full hanger rat. Um, they're called die cut. So it's the shape of the guy rather than like a big rectangle. So those are up now. Um, I wish I could do better on the price, but I really, it is what it is using that service. Um, and it, it's kind of worth it because it keeps me having to mail them out. So it's just a good way for me to stay organized. Um, I did work on hats with those people. Those are coming soon too. Very cool. Uh, F-22 and the L-39, good time. So glad to get uh, six flights in yesterday. Very cool. That's it. You, this, I mean, this week creeped up on me so fast. Um, so fast. Can't wait to edit up the uh, repair video on the Corsair. Can't wait to fly that thing. Um, didn't they upgrade... I'm missing something on the F-16. Dave's RC got some shirts as well in. Yeah, you guys check out each other. That's cool. You got you've got a wrench. Anybody with a wrench can drop links. Anyone else see Deuces Wild Avanti Maiden? No, not yet, but I want to. Uh, I think he's just got into some good weather. Jeff's asking about then they upgrade the gear on the F-16. Which F-16 are we talking about? The HSD one? Grossman's asking Mary Boozer, I'm sure, uh, what's the latest on the Flying Tiger patch? Uh, he's making them, but one at a time. But I, I'm, you need to reach out to Mary Boozer if you want to get one of those for your jacket. Yeah, Dennis, we got those stickers made, man. HSD. Yeah, I, I don't know if they upgraded the gear or not. Phoneboy RC in the house, fixed up his Sky Sword and, and bought another one. Skip Bilt got two flights in yesterday. What'd you fly, Brosef? Michael Roska is asking me how I like the gear update in the E Flight Viper. Um, I haven't done it yet. I don't have a Viper sitting around to do it. I have the landing gear sitting right over there. I need employees, dudes. <laughs> Mary Boozer says he's got shirts hitting the store soon. Brian K. Mav Pro got two good flights on the E-Flight F-16, and all he can say is, wow, best 70 millimeter F-16 right now. Did you get the one with the, the receiver in it already? That, and it's got a 70 millimeter in runner and uh, suspension out of the box. Too cool, right? Yes, oil field shocks on the HSD F-16. I think all the HSD suspension struts are true oleo. Even the little 90 millimeter uh, Viper I flew, I'm not even sure we put that video out yet. Um, we haven't uh, flew it in Texas, but it, it had them. You got employees after a few years growth. You mean I get employees after a few years growth? Yeah, that's. I think that's what you mean. Um, Victor's fixing the sky sword. Jack Miller says the original F-16 needed some work on the landing gear. Jeff asks if I like the Mobius camera. It's, yeah. Um, Dave's RC just got the sky sword from Hobby King. Um, what's different about the upgraded Viper gear? You know what, Dave? I don't, it, there, there's, it's not a stock add on upgrade. I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to drill out the trunnions to put in the FMS Avanti landing gear that I bought to do the upgrade because I heard that's what's up. So I'm not gonna put out any disinformation until I see how it works actually. I need to get a Viper, but I want to, I probably buy, I, I'd rather buy something new than a Viper, but I suppose, I suppose I could do the Viper video if I can clear my plate 
and um and because and put those struts in and see what's up uh let's see i think rc weaving just got moved into a house um so he's settling in he'll be doing some things in video with his buddies you guys i got cameras i got microphones i got all kinds of stuff on that amazon store um and anything you want on there i'll put on there um that's always cool that that we we earn a small commission on purchases made there which is helpful um ricky the photon i bought the 70 millimeter 6s sky sword yes it's no f15 holmes that's exactly what you're thinking right ricky we got to get together local one of these days you guys that are close we got to have a day out at the field i'm going to upgrade my like cell phone service and get a hot spot or something so i can do some of this from the field i tell you i get so pumped when i like i could have been talking to you guys the whole way to the field yesterday um fred's talking to chris jack i love how you guys talk to each other make sure you thumbs it up and all that good stuff guys um that helps and and how do you start a channel store you know it's one of those things man you just click around um on, on the amazon uh like your home page and you might be able to do it they they kind of you you have to drop in some of your links to uh your social media and things like that and they take a look at it and determine if you're uh it i'm sure it's a numbers game somehow or another but i got a pretty hardcore i, I think my instagram's dope as they say <laughs> and um you know youtube's going okay and and i and i have my old our, our facebook page all our original stuff had okay numbers it just sat still for five years and then um so our facebook page has decent numbers the instagram's okay the youtube's okay so apparently they said it was okay and and they let me set up uh uh some affiliate marketing or uh influencer page i forget what they call it but that's what it is and I've had it for a while. Uh, I had it for a while, but I didn't publicize it until like November or something like that. Maybe October. I think Dennis Farley was the first one to buy a plane on the store. But it doesn't have to be RC stuff. You, you can get RC stuff on the store or you can support your favorite RC store, do whatever. But what's amazing is people are buying chains and shackles and undershirts and dog shampoo and whatever airbrushing stuff a lot of airbrushing stuff um so fun so thanks guys for that so much uh is your t45 the free wing version with the slats if so does it make a difference or is it more cosmetic it makes a difference i mean it's not perfect perfect to scale um, it's nice, though, when you transport the plane, you don't have to worry about dinging up the leading edges, though. I'll tell you that. Um, Jeff says they make a killer difference. Yeah. Flies great, not super fast. I thought they were pretty quick. Yeah, Ricky even bought beef jerky on the store. Goodness sakes. I might put a gyro in it this time because I'm really going to try to catch a wire with this thing. And, and I think it'll be nice to have a gyro in it for you know, full slats, air brakes, flaps, I'm trying to keep it as light as I can. I got that FMS system and I have a, a RC Jetworks 120 amp ESC in there. Rick Madison, that's a great question. And rumor has it, I can't fly that HSD F-16 at my field, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't try. Um, Flapperons, my friend are the answer to that question and maybe a catapult for real <laughs> is, is how you do the HSD F-16 at our field. Um, I know guys who fly it off of pavement use more than I have um, because they can. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely would like to try. I definitely would like to try. Um, Dennis Farley says, Ricky, you, you should be buying beef jerky once a week at least. 
Um, Phone Boy wants to know in the chat who here bought or owns the Hobby King Sky Sword 4S 90 millimeter version or new 6S. Yeah, Grossman, wait till you watch the video on the T45 because I reinforced the tail hook and I completely fabricated up a new one strong enough to do the job. Um, I mean, I've got camera shots of me grinding on the wheel on the bench. I mean, sparks and all. I mean, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's actually, it was a really fun project and I just can't wait. Um, Ron Upton, Wings 88, how are Roaring Top batteries? They're fantastic. Um, they're available at rcjetworks.com. I have some sitting back here. It, it's out of focus, but I got like some epoxy, uh, my foam filler, an FMS fan, my RC Jetworks, and Roaring Top batteries. Um, you can see a big Velcro strap around the fuselage of the Corsair. Um, it's in traction, I'd like to say. Guys, when I do this, when I catch the wire, which I really shouldn't have told anybody I was going to do, I wanted to surprise you, but I'm so pumped that uh, I can't, I can't keep it. Um, I'm going to film it to death. I'm going to film it to death because I'm. I mean, I. Just, I mean, how can you not have as much camera that you can get on an RC catching a wire? I mean, come on. It's going to be sick. Um, it's going to be sick. And I hope a lot of people not in RC watch it. I mean, it's going to be dumb. Um, just like the fix it video on the Corsair is going to be the dumbest in the, in a good way video ever. Did you do a pull test on the hook? Not yet, but I've got the hook, uh, reinforced up to the carbon fiber spar of the wing. So the load is transferred to the spar on the wing before it's ripping the tail out of the plane. See what I mean? And, I, and I, I've, I've used epoxy and doublers and all kinds of things to reinforce it. And the hook itself, uh, the whole thing is made out of um, sturdy stuff. Metal, JB Weld, old landing gear strut parts. Um, you'll see, guys. Some of it I don't know yet either. But uh, you'll see. You'll see. Papa Boozer wants to know if anyone has a favorite World War II patch or something you would like to have. Memphis Bell, Flying Tigers, Do Little Raiders, all done. Doing research on P-38 squadron that shot down Yamamoto. Um, let them know, guys. Let them know. Grossman says, your Corsair reminds me of my E-Flight Spitty and Traction when her nose came completely off from the hatch forward. She flew again. Yeah, guys, I have actually nursed back a lot of really bad crashes. That was actually so much work. I, I knew I should have filmed them, but there were other things that, are, that were in front of it, and I didn't do it. Um, I just went to town. So there's a lot of things I've brought back. Um, it's thing. It's doable. Hot water, whatever it took. Um, RC weaving. You have a way to elevate the wire. Um, I elevate it and set it, and it's going to be spring loaded, so it stays where I want it with tension um, towards the ground, so it's not bouncing around, but not, but also tension the other way, so it's not. Um, too far forward after it's down. And then the reset is just a matter of a servo. The servo is going to be tied in with the channel that does the air brakes. Um, and it's, it's just, I mean, really, it, it's just a spring loaded tail hook. That's going to be up. You guys can't see very good. I'm sure, but it's, it's, it's going to be up. There's an extra crossbar that goes through the thing horizontally that's going to have a wire, a stiff wire that's through conduit, hold it up. When I hit the air brakes, the servo also goes, which pulls the wire forward, which releases it, comes over the top of that, cross that horizontal, and then it's just tension at that point, holds it down where I want it. It's going to be sweet. I got to be honest with you. This is something that I thought about a long time ago when the 
when they were new. Um, but I'm ready for it now. I'm ready for it now. It's going to be so fun. And you'll see what I did. I documented the whole thing. Let's see. What am I missing? You know, I did a P38 custom scheme one time of what was his name? It was it was French recon photo recon. It was a guy who wrote the little prince that book that kid story. He was an aviator like real slick guy. Um, and he was an older guy and he went disappearing in a P38. That was a photo recon P38. Um, I did his once paint scheme. I, I sold it. Uh, let's see. Bathroom break. Thanks, man. Um, sorry, Boozer. I was talking about the T45 paint. What am I missing? Grossman's talking about a heavy elastic band for a wire. You guys will see what I do. Um, you'll see. I don't want a whole lot of spring back. I want it to catch the wire. Imagine this. Okay. So whatever I, I use for the wire is more than likely going to be um, not elastic at all. It's going to be across the runway. And then there are going to be basically tie downs that are eye screws, eye holes. Now it can't be elevated because I got to be able to roll over it. See what I mean? Um, that's why the hook's going to hold tension on the on the mat. Um, so so basically, eye screws like 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 a dog tie down on either side of the runway, and then and then the wire's going to be through. And then along the runway, the, the wire will go with some like smallish weights on it, enough to stop the plane, but not like rip the son of a gun in half. Skip, thanks for that update, man. We're down today a bunch, actually, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it's going to be neat. So it, it's going to catch it, and, and I want it to stop it in short order, but not like rip it up. Dragging weights, Fred. That's exactly what I was talking about. That's what I got in my mind. It's going to be dragging weights, and, and I. But they're going to be along the runway, out of sight. Um, so you'll see what you need to see. Um, it'll be sweet. And then, and then, just like on ships, I was thinking about having some, like you said, the spools, right? Something around the wire um, here and there to give it the potential to hold it up. It'll be sweet. Functioning ejection seats is next. I tell you what, every time I fly a Dynam plane, I eject the battery if I go upside down. Yeah, man, I got you. Jeff's about to pull the trigger on the new Corsair, man. Nice. As soon as I figure out what I'm doing with mine, I'm going to have one left over to get rid of. Let's see, Cali Graphics. Everybody got their FAA numbers on their planes yet? Ricky says that tail hooks are above his pay grade. <laughs> That's funny. You're funny, man. Let's see. It's been an hour. Seinfeld, what's up? Phone Boy RC, check out his channel too. Um, he's going to put videos up of the Sky Sword. Yeah, I got to get with Callie, actually. I want to ask her some questions and I want to get some stickers made for my airplanes. Um, super excited about Jet Jam. You guys sign up if you haven't, if you're going to go. Um, thanks, Dave. That's the truth, man. That's the truth. Uh, uh, RC Pilots Lounge is going to be there on the road, so it'll, it'll be cool. We're going to be doing some show stuff kind of like this there, but live action with uh, who's ever there. Um, and, and that way, you guys who can't make it can tune in and catch it up, uh, catch it whenever. Um, Jet Jam is like the 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, whatever weekend that is. Um, there's the information right there. Dave Kowiski posted the link. Um, it is in June 
and it's like the second weekend, right? And then the weekend after that is uh, Nephi and Muncie. Do it real and hit it just right. Um, that's the plan, RC Weaving. But I mean, this is going to be tough. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be cool, man, because the plane's going to be super dirty, flaps, air brakes, wide out, um, slats, the whole thing, as dirty as I can make it. And um, I'm going to try to do it as real as I can. Dave's RC, thanks so much, man. Um, with a reminder. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're here and you're not a subscriber, do it. Go to Dave's RC and subscribe as well. Check him out. Um, he's having some fun over there. Um, every, there's a lot of guys who have channels. Check them out. Uh, most everybody who's got a wrench has a channel. And feel free to drop your link in the chat and also in the real comment section that exists at the bottom of this video. Um, like all other videos, you can always get to this video from the playlist too. Like I said, um, as soon as it's done, it will, I'm going to kill it, um, from public, but it'll still be there unlisted because I want to see what happens. I'm doing an experiment right now because it hurts my feelings when I get knocked 25% of my potential revenue every once a week. It's it's worth it to do the show and hang out with you guys for sure, but it hurts my feelings. I mean, it would hurt yours too. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, Dave Archer, how far will the plane travel after it grabs the hook, Ryan? Here's the filmmaker answer to your question. Um, it will not go out of the shot. Let's just put it that way. I'm I'm hoping that it goes no more than like five feet, like whatever scale might be is what I want to see happen. Right. That's, that's what's up. Not very, not very far, but I, I, I don't want, I mean, I did due diligence on reinforcing the apparatus apparatus, but um, I still don't want to break the plane, man. I and mean, it's gorgeous. <laughs> um. So stoked about it. So stoked about it. Um, man. So did anybody get any maidens off this week? We're sitting at an hour right now. I'm definitely going to do my best not to go to um, today. Um, and man, I was glad to get to spend a little time fixing the Corsair. So that video is coming along. A lot of work going on. Um, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the F4 video. What do you think about that um, short field action? I mean, I had that big ice patch across the uh, <laughs> across the runway. Dave Kowiski flew the Inductrix Air today indoors. Um, Bill Surratt, no problem for being late. You can always catch up on the replay. Um, Pegasus Club in Hagerstown. Maryland, that's what I meant, and there's a YouTube channel. Is that what's going on? Wings88 says, Tornado Watch all day, no flying. Um, Keith needs to maiden his F-18. Which F-18, Keith? Uh, I think I've got an F-18 FMS coming, which we, we already flew one in uh, – Texas, but I wanted to work one up. So there's another one coming. RC Weaven says you were hitting it right where you wanted to hit after the ice patch. I did on the second flight. The second flight's the better flight because we turned the microphone at the runway and I had already shook down the first flight because that was the first flight flying that plane with the JP uh, setup and the brakes in it. So I was a little bit worried about the weight and it was super cold. It's so cold. My eyes were watering. I mean, it was just, it doesn't really instill a whole lot of confidence when you, <laughs> your eyes are watering because it's so cold, man. Uh, Skip built, just put his FMS F18 together. I can't wait to fly one again. Um, I flew Dave Hawkers in Texas and everybody sets up their planes different. So I can't wait to set mine up the way I want to. And um, keep it nice and light. I'm going to fly the new. They're not in stock yet, but coming soon 
uh, at RC Jetworks are the RC Jetworks 4000 6S packs, which weigh comparable to the 3700 Roaring Tops, which is uh, uh, definitely lighter than the, the 4000 um, 60C Admiral right now. Um, 2019 Jet Jam information. Thank you, Dave Kalishki. Mike, hello, pilots. Ryan, thumbs up. Is this the T45 done up in the artwork? I was watching Mary Boozer's vid on the airbrushing job. I like it, but just can't destroy mine to pull that look off. Um, yeah, that is exactly the same T45, my friend. Keith, USNVA11 wants that FMS F18. Yeah, man. Um, somebody... A couple people bought one off the Amazon store. So they're available there and your favorite retailer. Actually, not everybody, probably. Um, Horizon Hobby and Hobby Zone, I think, has them. Real Rat's Nest. Yeah, Skip, some of those small ones. That's that's really my only gripe on the 70 millimeter stuff is like you're getting your hands in there sometimes. And or the fact that they're old school without like the multi-port wiring harnesses sometimes. So, uh, yeah, there's that spaghetti business. <laughs> um, Dave says you do a good job on your F-18. Cool, man. You guys check that out. Check it out. Um, it's supposed to be nice again this week. Um Yeah, man, there's a registration charge, phone boy, to Jet Jam. Click that link and check out the information. I'm sure it will answer all your questions. Um, it'd be great to have you. That place is amazing to fly at. I mean, I could almost see having an HSD F-16 just for um, the summer. <laughs> Work it up, do my thing, and then and then move it. Um or, or just hang on to it till next time I can get to a big runway. You know, that's the thing, too. If I have uh, my hands on an HSD F-16 at any of these events, I can see how short I can get away with, and then I'll know what to expect uh, at my field. Um, new E-Flight F-4 in two weeks at your hobby shop. Do you have your own hobby shop, Rick? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? That's what's awesome, too, about Horizon Hobby being so big is I'm able to put like w when there's planes on my store. Um, they still come from Horizon Hobby. That's where I got them from to put on the store, which is kind of which is nice, right? So Jeff had to buy a trailer. I need to get a trailer. My little Ford Freestyle actually has a trailer hitch on it. And I need to figure out getting uh, – I'd like to buy one of those old-school U-Haul little tow behinds. Not a big one, but like a little one. You know, perfect. Oh, the local shop. That's cool, man. Support your local shop. Um, John Knopp has vids of his HSD F-16 EDF and turbine version. Cool, man. Somebody – Figure that out. I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna screw up everything here, but I'm gonna make. Let me see about making John. Uh, John, if I give you a blue wrench, you got to drop links to your uh, YouTube channel. All right. Let's see. Add moderator. Nice. I'll go back. There's a lag if I if I don't exit out my windows. Grossman likes the blue box, but he had one go bad. Um, I like him too. I don't. I've never had one like go bad, bad, but I have had to bypass like rudders or steer, steerable nose wheels sometimes. Let's see. Tough plane. The only thing replaced was a retract because the wire broke. Grossman, you remember when the flaps were going nuts on mine? Aventador, what's going on? Good to see you. I haven't had problems with the blue box and gyro. Um, I did make, I don't know if it's up still, but I made a video on, on how to use the two together. Adam Hampton, what's going on, guy? Good to see you. Wayne630, what's happening? 
Mike and Lutz not using the blue box. If I have any doubts, I bypass stuff. You know, my F4 has uh, bypassed uh, the board for some things. Finally got the F-16. Can't wait to fly. Uh, Skip built, says John Knopps. HSD turbine is awesome. The Hobby Eagle does not always work with your blue box. There, Then something's up. Because stuff should be consistently working. The one thing, too, about those blue boxes is there's like a common ground. And if you don't have everything plugged in, you, you won't you'll think it doesn't work. Um, the common ground, sometimes I think it's aileron. Sometimes it can also be like the gear. So unless you have it all done, sometimes you won't think you have a working box, but you actually might. One of the guys posted a method of being able to do the elevator flat mix while in the air. That was Andrew Williams, my brother from another mother. Um, and I think it was in reference to his F-14. And that's actually on my list of things to do um, video-wise. And I have to learn how to do it as well. That's actually one of the best ways I learn how to do things is figure out uh, once I decide to make a video – then I have to learn how to do it so I can make a video because I want to know what I'm talking about. So I also have learned the hard way too. Normally, if I try to film from the get-go, it's all a waste anyway because I'll think I know something and I'll completely misspeak. So I'm going to play around with learning flight modes on my Spectrum radio before I dive into making a video on it. And I think the example I'm going to use for flight modes in my, for instance, is going to be my P-38. My P-38, if I trim it out for cruising, clean, no flaps, gear up, it's amazing. But the minute I put the flaps in, I get a crazy roll. And I've done my best to try to adjust that already mechanically and everything. And, and I've had... an my silver P38 did the same thing. So what I want to do is flight modes. So when I have the flaps in, flight modes are going to allow me to trim it with flaps and also enjoy the regular trim for cruising. Because if I trim it for cruising flight, it's fine. Put the flaps in and I, I got a hell of a workload when it's time to land the thing. So I also like landing a lot. So if I stay dirty and just want to shoot landings and I trim it out for that, well, the same thing is true for when I'm cruising. It's out of trim. So it's ridiculous. So I think the P-38 for me is a, a good one to experiment with flight modes on um, because I'll know if it's working and it'll be a great way to illustrate it. And I want an excuse to fly that plane again because I got the struts on it. Uh, suspension and I have the uh, I put the robot tires on there robot tires which are sold uh, everywhere and um, I was pushing hard to get them for uh, motion so they still have them um, attach your catch line to a small recoil like a weed eater or mower as you can adjust so it doesn't recoil back hard after it stops but it'll be softer bungee type and keep tension on the line. Yeah, that's cool. I think the weights will do it too, really lo-fi. Um, George Dahl wants to know, does anyone know if anybody makes a foam P39 or P63 in the 1450 to 1600 range? <laughs> Are you kidding me, RC Weaven? He just enrolled in Spectrum Remote University, only a 32-week on-campus course. you got to be kidding me. Never had any trouble with the Silver Freewing P38. I mean, I wouldn't call it trouble. It's just, I mean, these things are foam. When, when you do, it's hard to have servos match perfectly, especially when they need to. When ailerons are out of whack on throw, you never know. You trim them for neutral. 
Um, everybody has had a plane that does better to the left than the right. D differential, servos, whatever, but it doesn't seem to matter much. But when it's flaps and you just can't get, you, you have to pick. Do, do you want neutral to be even? Um, or, or do you want the bottom of the deflection to be even? And we all try to kind of land in the middle somewhere, which w equates to um, out of trim. I mean, unless you're flying servo, uh, gyros, which take that out a little bit. Holy crap, Shelby. Uh, you're out of this world. That's crazy. Thanks, man. <laughs> Shelby, I, I sent your shirt off the other night. You're you're good to go, man. It's on its way. And Dave's RC sponsored the giveaway for the T-shirt last week. And Shelby, you guys are putting me to work on the back end. Shelby's uh, sponsored a giveaway shirt for this week. Um, I don't know how I'm going to decide who to get it this time. You guys are out of this world. Out of this world. Um. It would be hilarious if uh, we pick Dave's to win the shirt this time. I'm already getting Dave a shirt, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Uh, thanks. Jeff's Custom RC wants to win. You might. Um, all right. Yeah, the Rock Hobby Wingspan is... I don't think it's 1200 millimeter. I think it's one of those pocket rockets at like 38 inches. So it's like 1100 millimeter, isn't it? I'm not sure. I think so though. I could be wrong though, Keith. Let's see. Grossman had trouble with flaps. Um, John Opp says free shirts for everyone. LOL. Yeah. If you, yes. Free shirts. If you buy them. Let's see, Dave, you, everybody's going to want to do a catch line after they see this. It, I mean, you know what? And you can try it on prop planes, try it on whatever. I think it'll be fun. I, I really want the video to go absolutely nuts. I, I, You guys, I exist as much in like the kind of YouTuber, social media kind of space of like video people, like content creators as much as here. Um. Ricky knows, like, my Twitter game is completely different than this, right, Ricky? Um, the Strega is 1,100 millimeters, and it's badass, Ricky. Grossman says TurboTax is not free. Cost you 90 bucks. Um, <laughs> Jack Miller says so far no issues with his blue boxers. That's good. Eric Rogers says a surprise unboxing on the channel this week. Only tip is that it comes in a motion RC box. That's the hint. Jeff's custom RC asks, does he win? Um, we'll see. Shall we hook it up to a fishing reel? Use the drag setting for resistance. Infinitely adjustable. Easy peasy. Um, Ricky says, I mostly have nudie pictures on Twitter. <laughs> You're crazy. I need to wash my blue boxer, says Keith. Chris Jackson wants to know if he won. I'm going to leave you guys hanging a little bit longer this time. Maybe I'll make you – you have to find out the winner. I should do a poll on the RC Pilots Lounge. Like I'll pick a few names off of here or something, and then I think that's what I'm going to do. I want you guys to uh, – you hang a rat's – Need to go to the RC Pilots Lounge Facebook group and join up. Um, then you guys get to vote for um, who wins the shirt. And one thing I want to do right now to make it easy. Not everybody wants to win a shirt. So you guys who want to win a shirt, um, what I want you to do in the live chat right now. And also, if you're listening in the replay, you can do the same thing. However, you will have to comment in the regular comment section, not the live chat. 
Actually, let's make this easy. You guys put me to task and I have to come up with it on the fly. So again, you have to be RC Pilots Lounge Facebook group person. You can ask to join, answer the two questions. I'll let you in even if you get it wrong. And, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to do a poll and you guys are going to decide who wins the shirt because I don't want to do it this time. Right? So comment in the regular comment section, not the live chat. You can comment in both places. It won't help you or hurt you. I want the shirt. That's what you got to do. I want a shirt. Shirt, I want a shirt, whatever. Put it in the comment section of this video. The legit comment section is the only way it's going to count. Okay? And then I will put those names of you guys who want a shirt into a Facebook poll on the Pilots Lounge Facebook group, and you guys vote the winner. All right? So cool. That's the way to do it, guys. Um, Pilot Robert loves his Sky Sword. I, I, I need to see that. Yeah, you guys, you guys are all answering in the live chat, and that's okay, but you're going to have to do it in the, um, the regular comment section of this video, all right? The regular comment section. Um, and, and then I'm going to, we'll, we'll, we'll make a poll out of it. All right. man. there's a lot of you are going to want one. That's cool. And, and then whoever the winner is will, I'll, I'll be in contact with you and Shelby knows how this works. Um, you'll pick whichever one you want off of the RC pilots lounge Teespring store. All right. And then I'll make it and get it sent to you. It's, it's, it's the best way to go. Um, let's see. Ricky wants an F-14. Cool. I'll be working up front, probably signing in pilots usually. Roy, let's see, the yellow one. Yeah, everything that's on the store is, it has multiple color options. So what you're looking at on the store is just the color I chose to display. But if you look at that item, you can see there's multiple different colors a lot of times available. By the way, if you want to buy a shirt, you can as well. The comment section's not there yet. Okay. We'll do do it do it after as well. I can't believe it's not there. I think it is. It's just the way you're in the video now, right? If you're uh, on your cell phone and you're in the live chat, you may not be able to see it. Uh, I see. All right. Well, comment after it ends. That helps too, actually. Um, can't make a comment now. Well, son of a gun. Well, we'll make it tough on you then. <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I kind of, I'm afraid to get off of here. I'm going to actually get off of here. Made comment now I just made a comment right now and I pinned it we'll see if that works you guys talking about all the nudie stuff you're crazy man all right where are we at what I miss <laughs> Grossman wants me to tell the wife he won one hey the truth is the truth is the truth. I cannot tell a lie um, because I cannot be held responsible for slipping. In, in, if your wife's listening to the show, uh, I swear I got a guy in trouble for buying a radio on Amazon the other day. <laughs> and I didn't mean to. Is just wing it in the house, man? Is that what I see? Hey, what's up, man? What is going on? Hey, heartbreaking B-25 situation the other day. Holy smokes. Did they, hard to, what happened? Did it just 
like LVC and then stall it? Like what happened, man? It's trying to stretch the glide on a B25. Oh, that hurt, bro. I thought my uh, Corsair hurt. That that hurt, man. Ah, oh, goodness sakes, um, guys, we're rolling on an hour and a half already. What 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 do I need to talk about? Who's pumped to get the F4? Tell me in the live chat. Who's pumped to get a prop plane up in here on the Pilot Ryan channel? Um, go to the RC Pilots Lounge and vote because I'm going to take the winning prop plane and make it happen, okay? Whether it's a turbo timber or the pits or the Arrows RC P51, Thunderbolt, whatever, we're going we're gonna to do it. All right. We're, we're probably going to do multi. Listen, I put most of that list together myself and then you guys added stuff to it. I probably didn't put it on the list if I didn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, j just as an example, you'll notice I didn't nothing against them, but I, I didn't put any ultra micros on there to choose from. Not that I wouldn't do one, but I didn't. Mary Boozer, what time's your Flex Jet unboxing tomorrow? Eight o'clock or four o'clock? I can't keep it straight with you, man. He's got to change the time because he's getting his hair done or something. Is that the deal? 4 p.m. Eastern time. He's doing the Flex Jet. Flex Innovations Flex Jet six cell power system. George Dahl says prop plane for him. Yeah, the Flightline Corsair is on the list. That's obviously going to happen as soon as I'm done um, playing Million Dollar Man with this one. That's what she said. Prop plane for me, building up his Warbird collection. 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Kowiski. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Time changes tonight. That's a bummer. Um, you are going to need JP Brakes for the Flex Jet. That thing rolls forever, says John Knopp. Man, that thing is so fun. I, I really only flew it the one time in Texas. And um, I, I really would like – Mitchell, come on, man. Thanks. You're crazy. Thank you so much. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much. It's, you guys all support uh, very well. I haven't Tador, this guy needs an intervention, but the other way. He says, I think seven planes is enough for me. <laughs> what? Yeah, Fred, you can easily do wheelie aero braking on the flex jet. They put those landing gear in like the best spot ever for wheelies. Am I right? Uh, that, Shelby, thank you so much, man. Grossman wants to know which seven planes you're talking about. Um, Dennis likes the time change one more hour of daylight after work. I appreciate that too, Dennis. I like one more hour of daylight always. What I don't like is them screwing with time. When I was a kid in Indiana, they didn't screw with it. It was always the same time because I, I, I easily get confused. See, Wesley, thank you so much, by the way. Um, time changes. Uh, I get it, but I don't like them. Mostly because I'm, re I'm just resistant to change. Um, Ron says never enough planes. He has the sickness. Um, most will agree. Huju just uploaded a video on his page of three new unboxings coming up. E-Flight F-15, Avio C-130, and FMS 1450 millimeter P-51. Um, man, you guys are fantastic. I, I, I honestly, I, I need to watch more of y'all's videos. I've been able to pop in a couple lately. Um, it's actually real. It's really fun watching you guys. The thing is, if you you just never give up. If you want to do it, you just never stop, man. 
And, and I think you guys get it, man. I mean, we all learn from each other. I think how to uh, communicate with each other and, and kind of what we, we might want from each other. You know what I mean? Aventador says he has no space left. Um, yeah, I, I get rid of stuff all the time to fund new projects. And um, because also I feel like if I don't, maybe it will just not, nobody will want it in three years. I completely flew the Freewing L39 feeling like yesterday, like, dad, this will probably be, I just want to fly it one more time before I get rid of it. Um, Cause it's, st it's still in great shape. I haven't screwed it up. And um, man, I, I flew it yesterday. And this always happens. Like, so I'll fly something to basically say goodbye. Like, I'm like, I'm going to get rid of this. Like, I'm not going to get rid of it. <laughs> it was too fun. That thing is bad. It's it's killer. I I, I don't think I should have got rid of my Avanti, really, to, to get it. But it's pretty gnarly. It, it's, it is pretty neat. And, and honestly, too, it's nice having a plane that you can really, really see because the colors. Um, I love the military stuff, but a lot of time they're not very colorful. So, um yeah, L39 is pretty sweet. I think I was toying with the idea of getting a Avanti again, but I think what I'll probably do instead is is try out the FMS Avanti. Is that a 70? Does anybody remember? Is it a 70 or an 80? I can't remember. Also, I mean, there's a lot of sport jets out there like the HSD Super Viper. That's basically an Avanti. We flew, and I still am working on that video, too. I can't get it all done, guys. Man. Um, but but the HSD Super Viper turbine we flew in Texas, it was like the Carbon Z T-28 of turbine jets. So amazing. Nice and big. Bigger does fly better. I can't wait, man. Ricky just got off an Invicta crew. Skip built talking about. Chris got him beat. Brett Archibald, flyby. Jack Miller, yes, it's a 70. Thank you for that. Dave RC as well. Um, Roy Thorward, Baba Black Sheep is on. Love that show. Robert Conrad in the house. Pappy Boynton. Um, I've, I've missed something here I wanted to see. Just when it was talking about traveling, I believe. I'm not seeing a doctor. My RC addiction is permanent. I'll just say this. We took x-rays of the foam repair I'm getting ready to do on this Corsair. And when I sent the Corsair to the OR to get fixed, OR does not stand for what you think it stands for. Anybody got a guess on what OR stands for? The OR room to fix airplanes? Ain't wrong. OR stands for, oh, really? You need another plane down there? That's what it stands for. Those are OR scrubs. Oh, are they? I think that's funny. Sean Gallagher in the house, RC Jetworks team pilot, has an HSD EDF Super Viper on the way. Dude, I want one of those. Is that a 12S bird, Sean? It is, isn't it? John Knopp says operating room. Yes and no. Dave Kowiski wants to know how we took x-rays. With an x-ray machine. <laughs> Mike works in the medical industry. We have access. real f-16 just passed his house with the windows down let's see what am i missing hope to finish paint job on my dynam p-51 this week changed it to gunfighter cool roy thorward says oh ryan oops ryan that's good for or too sean should come watch the live tomorrow of the flex jet have Dr. Expo fix it, says Roy. That's hilarious. 12S HSD Super Viper. Those are, can, you can get those at Jetworks, right? 
Jetworks.com. Yeah, man, I never seen an X-ray of a firewall or a, a, a pilot or an ESC in receiver before. <laughs> John Knopp just did the HSD Viper with a JP EDF from J RC Jet Works in the house. Thanks, man. Yeah, you can hold things up to the light and look at spars and stuff sometimes. That's funny. Dave's RC says he's running out of room. I'm lucky that we have a shop where I can keep some stuff as well, a basement and a garage. That's why the, the guys who want a hangar tour, it'd be like a three-hour hangar tour because I got to go to three different locations in town. Too many x-rays for my man, RC Weaving. Still want a plug and play airliner, but no room. Victor Shamula says. Uh, da -da -da -da. That's the big drag about no new planes on the way. My airbrush sits idle. I'm going to put together a kit of everything you need to jump into airbrushing. It, it's on the store now, but it's kind of a little bit sporadic. I, I want to make a bundle. See if I can't do that. It's been a while since I counted planes. I don't have that many guys. Um, but I'll get some more. Mike Kennedy says he put telemetry in the Hawk says he got a hundred eight out of it. Thinks it can do better. I bet. I bet it will. Um, Mary Boozer says he's got to hit the hay. Thanks for another show. See you tomorrow. 4 PM live on the flex jet unboxing. I actually got a video job tomorrow. Um, on a Sunday, it's got to be a Sunday, but it's it's not airplane at all. But I'm doing a video job, and I have a big edit I got to do too. For uh, actually, Captain Mike did a Notre Dame job, and um, I'm on a I'm doing the edit. Uh, nothing airplane at all. Just it's crazy what comes to you when you do stuff. Sometimes. Um, you guys, I wish you really do some of the crazy stuff that, hap that I get approached by. Um, I said no, obviously, but I got asked to review like a USB driven uh, desk fan, like a fan, just a fan. Like, no, I'm not going to review that. And then, uh, Phone, like a weird phone charger, like super deluxe, like phone charger thing that you, I, I don't think you had to plug it in or something. I don't know. It's like, no, no, thanks. <laughs> nope. The wife offers to sleep on the floor so I can store more planes. What? Mary Boozer's got shirts to finish before the show tomorrow. See you later, Keith. Great show as always. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, hour and a half of Seinfeld. You, you see why I leave this thing unlisted now because no one's going to, unless you're you guys, the tight crew, hanger rat posse, like you're not going to sit this one out. You know, like this is the thing. Listen like a podcast. Uh, go mow the yard, do your thing. You know what I mean? I, I really love it when I have an agenda. I, I don't want to waste your time, but I also don't want to miss the show. 31 weeks in a row. Before you know it, guys, it's going to be 52. Is that cool? And I mean, I'm telling you, even out of town and with the way that a guy can do premieres, if you're gone, if I'm going to miss a live, I can still have a show debut same time, same channel. That's important to me. Um, I value your attention. I really do appreciate all you guys coming over. That's why I feel bad when I don't necessarily have an agenda, but we still manage to hang out for like two hours. Like what is up? Can you guys tell I did something different with the lights? Usually there's like this hard line, a shadow right here. Um, 
RC Weaven lets the older ones just play with sound off. That's cool. <laughs> hey, love the show, Ryan. Always great to be able to hook up with you, and it doesn't take four days of driving. Yeah, man. Are you going to, you're not going to be able to make it to Nephi, are you? This time? Mark's O scale trains. Will you have an Avanti on your Amazon store soon? The FMS one, is that what you're asking about? Because that's the only one I can get on there. I can't, if I do free wing stuff, it's, it's ridiculously expensive. I can put them on there, but they come from overseas. It's ridiculously expensive. And, um, I wouldn't do that to you. Just, I mean, just get it here in the States. Um, same bat time, same bat channel. You guys know what's up. Chris won't miss a Saturday. I appreciate that. Me neither. Uh, the lighting is softer, less you can actually, I don't have the, uh, hard line there um sean gallagher says which hawk he's done 132 on his stock fms 80 millimeter hawk with jetworks or uh 6s 4000 sean i'm going to answer for him it's the fms hawk is he doing something wrong has he got the timing messed up or is he flying old packs what's up the telemetry could be out of whack on the calibration marks o scale trains I'm surprised there's not one on the store already, but I will make sure that I put FMS Avanti on the store tonight. I'm making a note. I'm making a note. 10 years younger. Who does your makeup? Thanks, Papa. Yeah, Mike Kennedy says steep dive. You know what the trick is? A shallow dive. What happens on the steep dive is you pull up to keep from hitting the ground, and I think you scrub off a ton of speed. Am I right, Sean? Sean and the guys at our, uh, Jet Jam were telling me how to do radar rips the other day. Yeah, you're right. No hurry, Huju. Um, steep dive. Let's see. Yeah, FMS Avanti on the store. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Jack Miller, uh, if he doesn't have it on the store, contact him at info at rcjetworks.com and inquire there because even if it's not on his website, he's got great access to HSD. He can get it for you. Like he can get it. Um, Shouldn't a speed run really be done in level flight? Diving and then leveling off seems like cheating. Dave, everyone does it. And, and mostly they're level. So that's what I mean, like super shallow dive. Um, I mean, you do got to give yourself a little advantage or, or just isn't worth doing. I mean, you want how fast can you get it? It almost doesn't matter how, right? But well, I get it. I get your point. It. You know, when you when you do speed runs and you get jack crap for a, a, a reading, you'll you'll do what you can to get a good one. Um I will say hi to Mike. He's actually out and about. He's or should I say out in a boot? Um <laughs> I think he's in Illinois right now. Um yeah, it depends on the purpose. Cool, thanks. Say hi to Mike. Don't hit him. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can't hit him. I need him. Good night, Grossman says Farley. Mike Kennedy says, Sean, what's the trick? Um, Mike Kennedy talking to Sean Gallagher. Mike Kennedy's a heck of a dude. So, Sean. Um, completely stock FMS. It, it, it's one that we actually flew and set up for him, uh, Sean. Mike Kennedy's got a uh, – did a cool thing, man. It was kind of neat. He bought a FMS Hawk from the store and uh, sent it to us. We maidened it, built it, smacked it up, flipped it and rubbed it down and, uh, you know, shipped it back. <laughs> so Sean Gallagher's answer to the question, it was out of a dive, fresh, lightweight, decent C rated battery. Roy says, doesn't matter how you get there. See you next Saturday, everybody. Jack Miller's out of here, man. It's going to be a two hour show again. Can you believe it? I got, you know, I talked to some industry guys who don't quite understand the, the thing about a two hour show. And it's like, guys, 
It's the Pilots Lounge. We're hanging out. If you don't get it, I don't know what to tell you. Um, speed is for those that can't handle slow. Speed is also for those who have to answer a lot of questions about how fast does it go as well. It's about information. I like going slow as well. I, I enjoy it. I want flight time. I want slow. Um, Mike Kennedy says, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> to Sean. 60 still here, two-hour show. Thank you, Fred. Anyone else have a transmission blow and know your RC budget is hurting? Oh, no. Yeah, Mike Kennedy, 4,000 um, RC Jetworks packs are, I believe, they're C 60C, and they're coming really soon uh, to RC Jetworks. Sean Radar ripped 118 straight and level. I got a 122 out of the uh, F4 on a Jetworks 6000 60C pack stock free wing fan the other day before it got cold. Yeah, fast is awesome. Slow is fun. I mean, you know, it depends on the aircraft, right? Some stuff I want to rip the snot out of it. And then other things like the F-22 is fun to fly fast, but it's also like the best slow flying jet in the world right now to me. So, <laughs> I mean, it's super fun just to thrust it around. Um, been out for a while now. Nobody buy any till I get two. What are we talking about? Jeff in Alabama, what are we talking about? Yeah, I mean, you might be in RC airplanes if you can't wait for birthdays and Christmases just to, like, add a little bit more to your RC budget. Oh, batteries. I got you. Yeah, they'll be, I think, in a week they're in pretty pretty soon. I, I talk to Andy uh, at least once a week. Um, they're coming soon. The JP fans are in now. That's why we let the video go on the F4 with the JP hobby in it. Um, that was fun. And I can't wait to get that out and do some more. And if you come to Jet Jam, you're going to see it in action. And I'm going to also be there with the E-Flight one flying it completely stock. But I got the uh, free wing one. RC Jet works up. It is nice to have the power to go vertical, y'all. There's never a budget when it comes to RC. I tell you, I got a lot of guys going FMS power systems on these things. Yeah, I need to get a bigger car. I got a, it, it's like an SUV. I can get stuff in there, but I got to get a little trailer. You know, what was cool about my old ride was I could get 1600 millimeter stuff in there without taking wings off. Ugh, that's hard to do now. Which coffee is the warm one? This one. I got two guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the world-renowned Pusha Studios. Hello, sir. Hello, everyone in the chat. Thanks for coming over. We're, hey, look, we aim on being an hour show, and we're pushing two hours right now. Still got 60 cats in here um, hanging out. Michael Sherman didn't receive alert tonight and coming in really late. I'm sorry about that. You know what, Michael Sherman, if you do Twitter, follow me on Twitter because I'm going to start blasting it out there. Um, I really don't – Instagram, I'm very deliberate about the content that goes up there. So Instagram is a great place to follow us. But Twitter and Facebook, I will blast out that the show is going on every every time. Um, I haven't always been good about doing that, but I, I'm doing it now. Anybody who's still here, coming late um, – Get in on the RC Pilots Lounge Facebook group. Put in your vote for what planes you want to see us do next. I'm going to pick a jet, and I'm going to pick a prop plane. We're going to do it like that. And then also I'm going to create another poll about which one of you guys is going to be the one who wins the shirt. Um, because another guy, Pusha, it's amazing what goes on over here. Um, we had a guy last week, Dave's RC, dropped a $50 super chat, said, let somebody win a shirt, I'll buy it. You know what I mean? On me. And then the guy who won the shirt did that this week. So someone else is winning. It's, I'm going to let the community pick this time. I, I picked it random last time, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the community pick this time, and they're going to have to 
uh, you have to vote shirt in the real comment section of this video once it's done being live. And you might have to come back and visit that to do it. If you can't find the video, you have to go to the Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike YouTube channel and, and explore the playlist, uh, podcast and live stream. Um, and I'll probably let it also be on the more videos from Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike as well. But they're unlisted because I don't want to get killed on um, – Watch time. So it's there for you all, but you have to go get it. Um, George Daw, yeah, check out the store. I haven't had a chance to put uh, – was it you asking for the FMS Avanti? I haven't had a chance to put it on, but I will definitely get to it, like, right away. I have to dress up this video when I'm done with uh, the things you have to do. Roy says his wife is a quilt freak. I love quilts. I love heavy blankets. Tell her thank you for keeping quilting alive. It's the, I tell you what, like kids and grandmas and moms and quilts and all that stuff. It, it's like, it's a thing. My kids still have their baby quilts because they were custom made out of like me and my wife's like favorite shirts when we were dating or something. It, it's fun. Love it. Um, <laughs> Ryan says he's giving me till, or uh, Papa Booster says he's giving me till next winter to put the patch on my jacket. I'm gonna probably just send you my jacket in the patch if you know where to get it done. Cause I don't, I, I, I it's hard to make it a priority for me right now. Um, I do wear this to bed, by the way, and to take the dog out. Um, Jeff says doing good will always come back. Roy says he really needs a new shirt. I'm gonna let you guys decide on this one. Um. Pusha, yes, so romantic. And my kids just think it's the neatest thing. And and I personally still remember the shirt because not only was it when we were dating, but the, the one shirt in my son's quilt was like my favorite shirt. Um, and my wife had bought it for me while we were dating and I wore it out. I mean, it was like a, a Western shirt, like a cowboy shirt, kind of hipster um, <laughs> back then when I could fit in that stuff and it looked good. And I wore it out, like the collar out, and it just got thin um, because I love that shirt so much. Um, anyhow, thank you for that. A10 wing formation lights are done, says Timothy Towtent. Thanks for coming over. Um, you guys are great, uh, Pusha Studios. I, I, I really enjoy seeing you here. Um, John Knopp says we need pinup girl patches. You know what? That's a, that's a good one, and and I think that and and the pinup girl art would be. Uh, I, I'm surprised there's just not a store full of shirts of that stuff right now. Foam tech does work on everything. You know what's funny? Let's talk about what works on everything. My zipper broke on my jacket. Okay. Can you guys see what that is? It's a clevis. <laughs> I have a clevis from an airplane control rod is, is what I grabbed to zip up my coat. Nice. Um, so everything loves foam tack. Uh, yes, for pinup girl patches, patches or shirts or whatever. Paul Hatcher, love it like my pilot Ryan Captain Mike shirt. Paul, what is the last thing you flew, my friend? I talked to your uh, father-in-law and he's just not getting a break on the weather. Roy says, my wife says I wear out the belly, Ryan. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't wear out shirts like I used to, but I I'm good at popping buttons. <laughs> um, Clevis. Thank you for that. Customizing. I I've modded my jacket. Your Waco. Cool. Mike Kennedy just got a bottle on the store yesterday. Was that you picking up the foam tack? Nice, man. Um, that's how we keep it going around here. That, that's how you do it online these days. You, you have to diversify your, your points of access to reach all of you wonderful people and uh, also your income stream so you can keep it going. Guys, I'm getting ready to up on some uh, – 
I'm leveraging up the game, guys. Uh, I'll be honest with you right now. I mean, when we're out at the field, it, it drives me crazy that um, I can't hear Mike when he talks to me. He's on the camera. Like when I'm on the camera and if I say something to Mike, I, you can't hear me either. Um, we got one pretty nice mic we use for filming. And uh, we got to get another one. I, I just got to get another one. First of all, I have voice like thunder. It's very loud. So when I'm editing, it's just I, it, you can't win. I have to turn myself way down and him up. But we're on the same track and it just doesn't work. I, I got to research getting and, and it's it's got to be a mixer that I can take to the field. It can't be some big thing for like in the studio. So I need a small little mixer where I can and headphones out of the field so I can adjust the input for mic so I can actually hear them and balance them out. We can hear the airplane. We always want to hear the airplane and the jet engine and everything. And and then, of, of course, maybe tuning me down a little bit. So <sighs> that's what's up. We, we earn revenue and we invest it back into this little thing that we call uh, love of the RC community. Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike style. Beacon gave me a tweet about it when they saw the video I made of it. Cool, man. Skip, are you on Twitter, bro? Do we follow each other on Twitter? We need to make it happen, my friend. Since we're hanging out in the lounge, I wish you guys all were in the lounge. You know, my first endeavors in the RC, my dad and I were only two doors away from each other, and we hung out in the shop. It was so the best. It was the best, man. It was the best. RC Weaven says he fixed his wife's windshield washer fluid tube with RC glues and tapes and hot glue as she was pulling out and zip ties you know what's hilarious and the dentist told me to never do it again <laughs> but i i did my own dental work once with some ca let's just say timothy talking about toledo show free wing country pilot riot uh pilot robert has a bad for the sky sword says eric rogers he's got to be careful he doesn't put his eye out okay it's going down now. Pusha oh, you're out of here. You're, you're out of this world. Thank you so much for that. That's nice. Stick a monkey pants. Hashtag. I have been using the uh, a little bit, not not too often. Once we get into spring and we're making a lot more content, I, I will throw around the hashtag photomasochism a little bit. Um, but not yet. You're very nice. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I'm going to try to go to Twitter right now and hook up with Skip. Did he say he's on? Yes. Okay. Skip's on Twitter. Let's do this thing. I'm the pilot Ryan, the one and only. So let's let's figure it out. I'm going to search. What are What's your handle on Twitter, Brosif? Skip. Talk to me. Did you already follow me, bro? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Twitter's a, a different – I really – it's different. I come at a different angle here a little bit. I'm looking for skip built, I guess. Let's see. Skip. Skip built RC. All right, cool. Thanks. I'm going to hit you right now. Skip. Is there a space built? Oh, yeah. You're. Your real name's Eugene, right, man? Skip Bill RC. Follow. Bam. I got you, man. And now you know it's me. You can follow me, too. It, and, man, I'm telling you, Instagram is hot for what we do because it's super visual. Twitter, I, I really do enjoy more from the kind of video content creator angle. I got to be honest with you. Don't, if you follow me on Twitter, it, 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 I, I think it's a, I think follow me on Twitter. If you're like a guy who's making videos, who kind of wants to see that side of things. 
if you're a hundred percent only care about the airplane stuff, man, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube's the way to go. You know, it's skip. It's like everything. You just got to play around on it and stuff. I mean, it's a great, it depends on kind of what market you're in, right? Like if, if skip, if you were making videos on how to leverage uh, YouTube, um, Twitter be a really good place for you, right? There's, you know, my, my advice is to just follow a bunch of RC Twitter accounts, uh, whether it be like guys like me or professional ones like corporate ones and see what they're doing, engage with them, that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, people will follow you back and you can grow your Twitter. It, it you, you get a good idea of the, uh, what the place is good for. Like if I go to Twitter and I post some of the stuff I post on Instagram or Facebook, which is completely aimed at RC guys, it falls on maybe deaf ears there. But anyway, good times for me. Push is completely right. Different platforms for different audiences and purposes. Eyes on video comes more from tweets, but brand recognition more from Instagram. Exactly. Like not everybody, like people like know that I contribute to the conversation on Twitter, but they've got no desire to come consume RC content, you know, but they, you know, whatever I can, I love it because I can like just wisecrack with them. It's fun. Um, about geek out on camera stuff or whatever. Um, so fun, man, we're two hours in dudes. So again, anybody, if I ever drop the ball, like, please remind me and you can, there's plenty of access to me. Any comment section on YouTube, you can, I will see it. Um, Twitter, you can direct message me. Instagram, you can direct message me. Um, Dave's RC, you're out of this world, man. Thanks so much. Guys, go, go support Dave. He's got a lot of energy and he's having a lot of fun over there on his channel. And, um, it's so cool how we all learn from each other, right? And kind of lean in and just go for it. That's really what it's all about. I mean, if you wait till you're ready, you'll never begin. Just go for it. Dave, see you later, man. Thanks for coming by. Um, check your Patreon page with me because I sent you a message about stuff. So whatever you want to do, let me know. And, um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to just PayPal you that, and then you do whatever you'd like. It'd be, it'd be perfect. Um, so let me know. Yeah, you know what? I'm not that tired yet, Shelby, to put on my glasses because I'm sitting here with two Americanos, right? I got one Americano almost done. It's cold. And then one I warmed up before I came down. So I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm good to go. And, and, I, and I know I got off track somehow. Uh, come on, spring. Um, 20 cylinder. Oh no, you are in Canada throwing out that metric stuff. Centimeters. That's a lot of snow. Um, yeah, guys who are leaving. See you later, man. It is two minutes away. You asked for it. Mixing business with leather. <laughs> Timothy, are you on the Jet Jam this year, Brosif? I don't know if I'm going to stay at that hotel or camp out. Six inches. Thank you. <laughs> no, the shades. What's this? Oh, yeah. Good night, all. Yeah, man. Pilot Robert and Captain Blosh. One of these days, I, I'm going to clone myself and have more time to do all the lovely things I want to do for you guys. Um, one of them is because those guys are in Slovenia, uh, the timing of the show would be uh, different that I don't want to change the timing of the show. So I'll have to do a pre-recorded situation with them. Um, one of these days, it's obvious to me that I'm not going to make a Saturday. I think I'll, I'll try to do that. I have reached out to them about it. I think they're into it. I think people are also nervous in a way to get on a show. I, I don't know. Um, the fact that it won't be live might ease their uh, troubled mind a little bit. <laughs> um, 
And the countdown begins. Yeah. Where's Brian Chambers to throw the countdown at us? Hotel for you, Tim. Are you staying at the casino? This is it. Yeah, we love those guys. I mean, they love us. That That's, you know, it's so neat to be uh, part of people's journey. Like, an, I mean, an inspiration for so many of you. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's neat. It's just the coolest thing. Um, again, anybody, if I'm dropping the ball, uh, if I forget to put something on the store, if you want something on the store, hit me up, Facebook Messenger, Twitter DMs, Instagram, comment sections, whatever. Um, Dave Kowiski, thank you, man. Um, find me. Uh, Dave Kowiski, I got your wheel chocks sitting back there. They're going to be a part of the whole workup when I do the uh, T45 job. Um, that's going to be epic. Um whether it ends up in a crash or not, it's gonna, I think it's going to be neat. And I, and I'm going to do my best to document the, the whole process um, and edit it up. I mean, the, the, the better I try to make things, the more time it takes to do them. So, I'm, I'm tr you know, here and there, it's going to be just the regular old flight reviews you're used to. But something that's been out for a while, we're doing the tail hook deal. It's... Uh, it's it, there's going to be a lot more to it. Just like the fix it video on this Corsair. It's going to be ridiculous. We're all a bunch of regular guys over two hours says Shelby. Yeah. Two minutes past. All right. So let me know. I got to put a, I got to put an Avanti on the Amazon store. We got new stickers on the store. Check out Boozer's stream tomorrow. Um, he changed the time. I can't remember when. Uh, I think it's four. And uh, he's going to unbox the RC Jetworks Flex Jet. Um, oh, man. I wish I wish I could get over two. I think one of these days, if I keep it up, I honestly will be able to travel on from the fruits of the, this these efforts here. Um, Roy wants to know, is it possible to actually do a tail hook landing with RC? You're going to find out on this channel. All right, Roy? I, I made a legit tail hook strong enough to try it out. Um, RC Weaving, they're talking about the snow they're getting ready to get in Canada. Uh, Pusha Studios. T Brian Chambers, get out of here, dude. Man, another one of our communities starting a YouTube channel to document their exploits in RC. How cool is that? You guys are, are dropping the coin for shout outs and I will give them to you. Brian Chambers, check out his YouTube chamber, uh, chamber. <laughs> YouTube channel. Hey, Brian, uh, are you a moderator? You are now, Holmes. Okay, Blue Wrench Group in the house. Oh, no, did I screw something up? Okay, good. You guys all still there? Brian Chambers, let's see. Put the link in to your um, channel, would you please? You should have a Blue Wrench, which will enable you to drop links that are clickable. Just know, LOL, says Pusha Studios. Hey, did you get your voice back? I hope you weren't out too long. I was just there um, when you uh, were it, you were starting to lose it. Dennis Farley, thanks, man. You're still here. Um, I'm actually been talking to – it's Wendell Vance is the guy I talk to, I think, more than Mitchell, uh, who's, who's helping me work up some T-shirt designs and stuff's looking really cool. And uh, – it's Mitchell with the 3D printing. The Farleys are a force to be reckoned with, right? So Dennis, just love him to death, um, has great children and grandkids who have, like, really been crucial in our, in our uh, helping me out. Jasmine's the granddaughter who designed the Hangar Rats logo for us that as soon as I get mine in the mail, which I ordered, like, a couple days ago, uh, die cut sticker of the hanger rats. It's going to be 
right there on the laptop. Oh my goodness. Well, you get better. You had a terrible fever and no voice for three days after that stream. That's a hard road, especially when you're a talker for business. I, I, I love hanging out with you guys over there. I really do try to pop in. Um, I, when I get a chance, say, Hey, it's, it's, it's fun. It, it's really neat. You know, what's cool too is like, uh, we're used to the live stream kind of thing at this point, but so many people have never done this before. And once you realize that there's a live chat where people can interact with each other, not just the moderator, it's, it's out of this world. Michael Sherman, my Twitter account, um, man, Hey, you know what I'm going to do also? I'm going to make Pusha Studios a moderator. They give out blue wrenches like it's going out of style. Yeah. So I, I'm working on it, Sherman. Um, I'm working on it. I don't want to miss anything. Pusha, we need to get him in the air. He wants to fly. Who are we talking about? Um, yeah, you guys are are supporting Brian Chambers. That's awesome. Brian Chambers? I Yes, cool. Did you drop a link to your channel? I hope you did. Um, hey, Skip, see you later. Always a pleasure. Glad to see you here, man. Thanks so much. Um, see you on Twitter, right? It's all about engaging, man. You give a little, you get a little. That's really what it's about. It's a two-way street. And and really, social is, is so transparent. You can't BS. So, you know, you put out your good vibes and you get them back, man. Uh, and, and, and as long as you really don't expect much, you won't be let down. It, it, it takes a while, but you get there. I'm very slow to the party on Twitter, but I'll get there. Um, let's see. Yeah, man, let's fly some RC Pusha studios. Chris Jackson, no problem, man. Uh, one of these days we'll, we'll meet in person. No problem. No problem. Michael Sherman, I'm trying to figure out my Twitter handle for you. Um, it should just be the pilot Ryan, like it is on Instagram. Let me see. Go to my profile. Yeah, Pilot Ryan. I didn't put my real name on there. I'm Pilot Ryan and at the Pilot Ryan, like on Instagram. So yeah, man, Pilot Ryan. You'll see me. I got like a beanie hat on, looking all like content creator style. <laughs> you know me um who'd you get out of here man you got to get up at 5 a.m beat it beat it beat it kid you bother me gotta go all right who'd you thanks for coming over man always a pleasure i love seeing you guys every time uh week in week out see you later guys man we're pushing over two hours but i'm having so much fun it's like i just got started right what do you guys want to talk about, man? Really? I, I, I'll go, I'll go, uh, I'll go some more, right? I, I'm hoping 10, 15 minute max. And you guys that want to drop out, drop out. Don't feel bad, man. Just give it a thumbs up on your way out. Feed the algorithmic robot, if you would, please. Timothy, I appreciate that, man. From one veteran to another, Pilot Ryan is a, yeah, that's nice of you, man. I, I, I at least front pretty well. <laughs> I'm kidding. I try. Um, 22 years, United States Air Force prepping the PT-17 full scale, getting ready for tomorrow, flying a World War II biplane in the house in real life. That's awesome. Mitchell Farley wants to know, has anyone here flown 3D printed planes Dirty D has, although he's not in the room right now. His name is uh, Chris Graca. He's on RC groups as Dirty D, and the best way to kind of hit him, he does have an Instagram. You can also get him, like when you click the RC groups forums, like he's got his own like blog, right, where you go and you can check out more on the guy. Um and he does some massive 3D printing work, and he's flown some 3D printed planes. 
Mike Kennedy wants to know what's more fun to fly the F-15 or the F-22. It's I, I have only flown the F-15 for a minute, but never took off and landed one. The F-15 is definitely on my list. I put it on that Facebook poll. I'm totally going to get one and put like an FMS fan or a JP fan in it. Um, I don't have an F-15, so for now I have to say the F-22 is funner because I have one. Um, but the F-15 is on my short list for sure. But the F-22 is magic, dude, no doubt. No doubt. I think if, if you're asking me what I think you should get next out of those two, I would say the F-22. Just on flight character, super light wing loading, that kind of stuff. That's all. I think the F-22 will teach you what you can do and need to do on the F-15 because the wing root glove, those like kind of Delta plan forms are a little bit different than the BAE Hawk you're used to, which is more like um, Warbird-esque. Basically, you get what you want right now rather than have to think in a couple moves ahead kind of stuff. And they're just not able to, you, you just can't scrub off as much speed um, with a Bayhawk as 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 those those other ones roy wants to know who likes to do flat spins i hope i got new followers on twitter since you guys are asking me what's what michael sherman where you at what's your name on here andrew mckinnon who's andrew mckinnon anybody it'd be sweet if it was peter mckinnon's brother michael sherman that followed me cool brosif He's the guy who came up with hanger rats, the whole terminology. That's cool. All right, let me not like scroll Twitter right now <laughs> while I'm on this show. I'm going to have to dress up this video. And then I actually have work to do uh, always after these shows. Um, night all till next week. See you later, Timothy. Have fun at the open mics, my friend. Um, What did I miss? Uh, RC Weaving FPV didn't know that. So big ones are cheaper. Are we, what are we talking about, RC Weaving and Pusha Studios? Andrew McKinnon's one of your peeps. Thank you, Pusha. Oh, right, right, right. Bigger flies better. That's it. Um, Jeff. You about to bounce. As always, Ryan, it's a great honor and pleasure to be in your company. You're so nice. And, and with all these great guys here, have a great night and hope to see you all soon on my channel. Thanks for the, the great shout outs. Hey, before you leave, Jeff, moderator, Blue Wrench style, I can only keep up so well. Um, anybody who wants a wrench that doesn't have one, let me know. Hey, I just made you a moderator. Drop a link to... Um, your channel, if you would, please, Jeff. And and remember, everybody who wants to uh, get in on the shirt drawing poll thing I'm going to do on the RC Pilots Lounge Facebook group, remember to comment. doesn't have to be right away because I'll, I'll go ahead and compile the list in a couple days. But comment in the legit comment section of this video, shirt. I want the shirt. I want, I'm in, whatever. Um, that way I know, okay? That you want in because if you don't want one, I'm not going to put you in the drawing, you know what I mean? In, in the poll. So that'll be cool. The poll's going really off the charts about what planes to do next. I think that's really cool. Uh, Victor Shamulus, I uh, drop in YouTube channel links, please. That's cool. Um, Jeff, man, hey, man, it's cool. Look, you, you know, I follow a lot of like business people who talk really straight and hard. Um, everybody has the opportunity to try. And everybody who can persevere and and uh, make it through the growing pains of, of trying to have a channel will will win. You, you just have to keep showing up and you have to also be real with yourself and know that your first videos will probably be your worst videos. That's just how it goes. But that it's all practice. I'm quoting one of the great guys I follow at the moment. Uh, Sean Cannell, he, he's he's a hundred percent just like video um, guru, social media guy, you know, entrepreneur, personal brand. So that's that's a quote from him, right? Your first videos will be your worst videos, but as long as you know that, 
um, and you don't expect something ridiculous, the market will dictate. You know what I mean? And it, it, if you're having fun, views, subscribers, none of that stuff really matters. But chances are when you're in a community like this, you'll be on the accelerated growth program, uh, which is cool, man. I mean, we've got a big community of like video YouTubers right now in RC hanging out over here supporting each other. So pretty cool, man. It is past two hours, Eric. I'm very aware. So are my eyeballs. Um. After riding them off three planes, I don't get, okay. Um, I need one. A small plane is like a gateway drug. I'm just getting into EDFs. First one is cheap. And then, yeah, Perseverance says Mike Kennedy, um, role model, Jeff. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, Pusha Studios. Honestly, if you want to get into the airplanes, there is some definite things to know. But there are some great first airplane choices to be made. Um, I would be glad, any of these guys would be glad to uh, steer you in the right direction. The micro planes, the small ones, are definitely a good first step because um, cost of entry is very low and they all come with um, gyro technology, which keeps them from getting tossed around a lot. They call it artificial stabilization and three axis. It's a gyro. It's like having a little pilot in there that takes out and smooths out the flight. So you're less likely to crash it. And if you do crash, they don't weigh much. So you can fix them with like scotch tape and a little bit of glue sometimes. And again, cost of entry so low, you can't go wrong. And of course, I have that stuff available also on <laughs> my store. Big planes do crash harder. Just watch my second to last video over the Corsair going in upside down. Super hard. Exactly the youth, man. Uh, a lot of these guys who fly Pusha Studios um, started with their fathers or uncles or something like that and or are doing it with their kids. My, my boy is seven. Um, we go out sometimes and he's going to – his first job – because I do video, um, his first job is going to be cameraman. It's not going to be a paper route. Rafe's first job is going to be being a cameraman for his dad. But yeah, he flies. We do some micros and things sometimes. Um, wheels up. Got to go. Land in bed. Had a great time. Thanks, Jeff. See you later. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you stuck around. I, I, I wanted to um, give you a wrench and let you drop your channel link and and let the everything else fall where it falls. Um, Victor's kid is 28, uh, started when he was a boy. That's awesome. Hey, Jeremy Solt's boy, like what, eight years old? Did he just like fly a F-22 or something? <laughs> I mean, that's that's awesome. And and uh, RC Jet Dudes guy, uh, his kids are flying. I mean, it's guys if you love this hobby it really is in the hands of the children um so yeah don't be stingy yeah kyler rc weaving that's his that's his name uh they just did a fan flight video at motion with him i believe i think i saw the thumbnail on social um guys all right all right two minutes tops two minutes tops um yeah, there's a lot of guys in here, Pusha Studios, that come from full-scale experience. They either own still or used to own full-scale airplanes. It's crazy. Um, Chris Jackson says his son is seven when we started. Now he's 17, and he's better than you. Um, that's, that's fun. You know, my dad and I kind of started at the same time, although he had experience with Control Line when he was a kid and Rockets. Um and then I just went nuts with it, and here I am. And my dad still has the same um, planes he had years ago when we started. He really hadn't done anything else. But Ralph, hey, man, you want to see us in videos? We're over here, man, doing as much as we can. So I appreciate your comment. Um, hey, it's cool, man. When when one door open, when one door closes, another one opens, and uh, it's it's. Perfectly wonderful being over here 
doing this. And, and we had a great time over there uh, for that five years, starting with them from the ground up and building that company to, you know, really where they're at now. Uh, it was a lot of fun and we learned a lot and I mean, they know what they're doing. So it was really easy to represent that place um, with a great deal of loyalty and love um, that I brought to it that, and that's how you guys all know me. And, and it's the same thing. Me and Mike are those same people. The URL is different. That's it. So our videos are still over there um, doing what they do and um, I wish them the best, but we're here. So thanks for coming over. Um, live and breathe RC aviation, bro. That's absolutely right. Um, thank you, Ralph. And if you do other social, I'm um, everywhere. If you go to the homepage, since you've subscribed, you can see, um, Twitter, Facebook, Amazon, Patreon. There's every, every, there's multitudes of ways to access pilot Ryan and captain Mike personally. And the whole reason we started the show in the first place is because I had so many phone calls with guys where, I was like, you know what? This is a one-on-one -on -one phone call and that's awesome. But the stuff we're talking about, like strategies for landing, playing successfully or whatever, this is value that everybody could share. And, and the whole the whole community can get better from eavesdropping in these conversations. So that was kind of the original idea. And also because we have winners here, I didn't want to miss out engaging with you guys, especially since I wasn't going to be at, at the, the at the at the other job anymore so we're back over here consistently dropping it and engaging with you guys having the best time thanks ralph john see you later we're two and a half hours it's crazy i'm gonna have to wrap it uh i don't want to but i'm gonna as i take another drink of coffee all right <laughs> i gotta get off here so i can edit um toy drone five minutes after you got it just destroyed it the minute i took controls that's funny yeah crashing comes with it teaches you how to fix stuff yeah shelby thank you for the the super chat for uh paying it forward on the on the shirt that you won last week um someone else is going to win on you this time and uh, that's cool Skip, I appreciate that comment, man. Um, everybody's got to do what's right for them. You know what? I, I Look, I'll never tell anybody what to do. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I appreciate that comment. Um, that's nice. Brian, he's out of here on the 54321. You know what's funny is now I'm getting so fancy with the 54321 that I have to um, uh, think about what I'm doing, right? All right, so we're going to wrap it up because I could – honestly, I love you guys so much, and I am – the coffee's flowing pretty well. <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't want to go, but, you know, till next Saturday. You know what? I'm going to keep doing better on Facebook, and I want you guys to jump in that Facebook group because that's where I'm going to put the polls at because this is you guys' show. Uh, I want to do what you guys want to see. I want to interview people you want to interview and I want to do projects that, um, you know, you guys want to see too. Right. So everybody, thanks so much. Um, Pusha, you're the best too. You guys are just so amazing. I really appreciate all the love and support and, and there's plenty of to go around. You guys support your buddies on here. If they've dropped links, sub to them, check them out comment let them know that you uh came by and saw them uh ralph thanks for um hitting the bell um again follow on that other social if you guys want in on winning the shirt you have to comment you want a shirt in the real comment section not the chat um and, and in a few days we'll figure that one out and um you'll you'll see a poll on facebook you guys are going to vote the winner of the shirt giveaway yourself. I'm not going to pick anymore. Not this time. We're out of here in five. Hanger rats forever. Three you next time. Too good to be forgotten. Stick a monkey pants. How about that? <laughs> I'll have to watch that on the playback so I can learn how to do it again. I think it's pretty good. All right, guys. I love you. We'll see you on social. In the meantime, I got a lot of videos to work on. 
Um, they're going to be, I think, really fun um, and, and also informational as well as uh, entertaining. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. If you need me, you know where to find me. See you later.